What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with a Dokkan news update and this will be for the JP version of the game. So for the past couple of days, JP players have been collecting these cracked Dragon Balls as part of the 4 year anniversary, but up to this point we didn't really know what the wishes would be once we collected all 7 balls. Well, today we did get some new information courtesy of HorusDB on the Dokkan subreddit and from what it seems like to me, we're not actually going to get traditional wishes that we're used to like for the Purunga or the regular uh, Shenron. Instead, what's going to happen is once we collect all 7 cracked Dragon Balls, we'll be able to unlock a new event called the uh, Universal Crisis Birth of Shadow Dragon. So for this event, we're going to be facing all 7 of the Shenrons from the GT series. As you can see for level 1, we have the Haze Shenron. Level 2 is Rage Shenron, level 3 is Oceanus Shenron, level 4 is Naturon Shenron, Nova Shenron, Ice Shenron, and Sin Shenron. So essentially it's kind of like a boss rush style event and you get 1 stone for clearing each. So in total you get 7 stones for this event and then what happens after you beat all 7 Shenrons is you unlock a brand new Extreme Z battle event which is on this tab here. Extreme Z battle, the true strongest shadow dragon. Omega Shenron. So you get to face Omega Shenron in this event and uh, it, it's gonna be similar to the uh, Int Broly Extreme Z battle we got before where you don't actually get a drop. Actually you do get a drop character, my bad. You get a drop character but not the one you're facing. So we're gonna go down real quick to see what we can expect. So as you can see, you're gonna be fighting Omega Shenron and every level that you beat, you're gonna get one of these new Int Spirit Bomb Goku's and he's actually very solid. We'll take a look at him in just a second But as we go down here, he gets a little bit stronger and you get more Goku's you get more medals for the Goku's as well So basically you get him and also Extreme Z Awaken him all in this event. There are a total of a hundred levels um, So between levels 1 to 40 you get the medals as well as copies and then after from 41 to 50, you get more copies of him. Basically, in total, you get 20 copies of this new Int Goku. Uh, that, that's enough to open all his dupe paths to get him to SA10, and also get another copy to SA5 that can feed in for that free SA15 once you Extreme Z awaken him. And beyond level 50, it's going to be orbs and sleepy Kai's, and uh, you get a ton of orbs, a ton of Kai's. I think in total, as you can see here, between level 51 to 100, that's 50 sleepy Kai's, 5200 small orbs. 4,000 medium orbs and 350 large orbs of each type. So that's enough, if that's correct, to rainbow one type of each unit, right? So you can rainbow a STR unit, you can rainbow a physical unit, an int, int unit, whatever, and uh, still have some orbs left over. So that's a ton of Kai's right there. 50 Sleepy Kai's, I mean, with the rate that they work at, you're probably gonna get like 10 of them or so to work. So it's not too exciting, but you can think of it kind of like 10 free Elder Kai's, which, I mean, it's not too bad. And then beyond level 100, you get your standard uh, training items, the, the holy water or mysterious water. I forgot what it's called, but some some, some kind of water. <laughs> so there you go. We also get Dragon Stones for completing level 50 and level 100 for a total of 7 stones for this event. So 7 stones from the previous event, 7 stones for this event for a total of 14. And of course, this brand new Spirit Bomb Goku. Now, let's take a quick look at what this Goku can do. So he's called the Aggregation of Everyone's Wishes, Goku GT. I know some people are calling him the real Spirit Bomb Goku, not the LR1, because the LR1 is really hard to get, and not a lot of people have him. I'm not going to get into that debate here. They're both great units, but we're going to talk about this one right now. So his leader skill, after Extreme Z Awakening, is Shadow Dragon Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or in Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, his Super Attack, is Universal Spirit Bomb causes supreme damage to enemy and raises all allies defense by 30% for one turn. And his passive is Miraculous Calling, attack and defense plus 12% 12, 12 per key sphere obtained, and key plus 2 and attack plus 20% in addition for rainbow key sphere obtained. And he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there is a Shadow Dragon Saga category enemy present. His links are all in the family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Pride, GT, and Shattering the Limit. And he's in three categories, Shadow Dragon Saga, Pure Saiyans, and Goku's Lineage. So, 
Overall, I think he is a very, very good unit, and he is no doubt intended to be the Shadow Dragon Saga killer. So when you're facing a regular enemy, his damage output should be decent, but when you're facing a Shadow Dragon Saga enemy like Omega Shenron or Super Saiyan 4s, he should be doing an insane amount of damage because he can provide his own Rainbow Key Spheres for the additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20% with each one. So I think he's a really solid card and I'm excited to farm him and use him. And I'm also excited for this uh, Extreme Z battle event as well. I know a lot of people will probably be a little bit disappointed that we're not getting traditional wishes, possibly with like a lot of Kai's, a lot of orbs, or maybe even stones, stuff like that. But I think this is still a uh, good reward, a good wish that we're getting for collecting the Dragon Balls. Now, I know everybody's gonna have different opinions, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this entire thing. You know, the collecting the balls to unlock an event and then finishing that event to unlock another event and then using that event to farm out the uh, new Spirit Bomb Goku as well as a lot of Kai's, Sleepy Kai's, but still Kai's nonetheless, and orbs. Uh, overall, I'm satisfied, but let me know how you guys feel about this entire thing in the comments down below. And that's really all the information I have for you guys. Um, yeah, there's not, not much else that I know if any new information comes out regarding this whole cracked Dragon Ball or Smoke Shenron thing. I'll make sure to keep you guys posted but for the time being. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But well, that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.